Okay, let's talk about implement queue using stack. So it's just a basic uh, format for queue and just push, pick, pop, and empty. And you're using two stack, of, of course, right? And this is example for here. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to explain his example. I'm going to uh, use my example instead. So I'm going to push one, two, three, four, five into my stack. So I'm going to push everything into my first stack. So I push one here, I push two here. And three, and then four, five, right? All right. I'm, I'm just using quick way. So when I pop a queue, I should pop one, right? But if I pop, uh, pop on um, stack one, it should be pop on um, five, right? But we don't want five. We want one. So I would say I transfer five to stack two, transfer four to stack two, three, and then two, right? until there's only one in, one element in the stack the size equal to one and then you pop right you pop then you have to push it back why because this is the uh, this is the stack you want to keep using it the stack two is just temporary stack you want to transfer so you get the idea right so just jump jump to the coding so stack one equal to new stack stack 2 you got a new stack uh, I push right so I just push to 1 push to stack 1 right push X okay that will be it I'm not going to use my um, I'm not going to use a stack 2 over here so mm, like like I say if the size of the stack 1 is greater than 1 we transform right when we transform to stack 2 we push to stack two, right? So I can say stack two dot push. What should I, what should I do? I, I push the stack one dot pop, right? Stack one dot pop will return the element because when I when I add I add the stack one dot pop to stack two. Okay, so this is the idea, right? Until the size is one. Okay, now when I break out the loop, I should store the data. So stack one dot pop. Okay. When I pop the stack one, I store the value. So data data right here, right? I have to return the data. Right? But before I return the data, I have to push everything the element. It was initially in the stack two, right? I had to push back to the stack one. Because this is the one I'm looking at. So well stack two is empty, right? So make sure it's not empty, right? The stack one dot push. What should I push? I push it. Stack two dot pop, right? Stack two dot pop. Okay, made a typo right here. Stack, stack two dot pop. So you get the idea, right? Then send idea for pick. But I'm not going to return the data over here. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to pop the data over, over here. I'm going to use a pick instead. So I'm just, okay, almost exactly the same thing. So stack one, the size is greater than one. Okay, I push when I pop, right? But I'm not going to pop here. I'm going to say pick instead. Then when I use the pick, right? And then I know the value and I return the value. Before I return the value, I have to push back my stack two to stack one. Okay. So I just said I need to keep my stack one be the original uh, element I have, right? So I can just return stack is stack one dot uh, size equal to zero, right? That will be your empty statement. And you can use the stack one is empty instead, but that will be pretty much it. And let's see if I have error or not. Okay, pretty good. Cool. So you can use what? You can use return and then stack one is empty. But if you use the method for this, I mean it's not actually learning because you should use the size, the stack on the size instead. Okay, that would that would be it. And the size and the time and space uh, complexity. I mean push is all one every single time and you pop, pop is a problem because you have to uh, transform right 
So I would say all of n, all of n for the worst case. Peak, you almost the same things. So all of n as well. And that would be it. All right. Peace out and good luck.